Today we're going to be installing the Surge Guard Model 35550 on the coach. Uh, let's talk about a little bit uh, why you may want a little extra protection. Most um, motorhomes have what's called a transfer switch, and uh, the transfer switch is able to transfer power from either your generator to your electrical panel or shore power to your electrical panel. Um, the biggest reason why I want a surge guard, uh, in addition to the transfer switch, which does offer a little bit of uh, electrical protection, is the surge guard qualifies the power before it goes to the systems of the coach. It checks to make sure that you have a good voltage, either uh, not too high or not too low. It makes sure you don't have an open ground. and uh, it just makes sure that the quality of the power is good before sending power to the coach. This unit actually um, has about a minute and uh, 15 or I think it may be a minute and 20 second delay on it. So whenever there's a switch in power, it uh, has a timer before it will send power to the coach. And this is uh, mostly just to protect your air conditioners so uh, they don't turn off and then right back on again, which is bad for them. Uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, today uh, we're working on the electrical. We're here at the electrical bay and as you can see I already have the cover off of my transfer switch. I'm going to be putting in uh, some protection for my electrical system. So I'll be back with you and uh, get to the next step here. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So this is what the inside of the transfer switch looks like. You've got uh, two inputs on the top. The one with the gray conduit on it is coming from the generator and the one, uh, this one right here, the black one, comes across the bay and into the uh, cord reel there. And then you've got um, some automatic switching that goes on. It prioritizes the generator. So whenever the generator has power, it uh, closes these contacts on this side and um, sends power to the coach through this line down here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting in a surge guard unit and we're gonna put it after the transfer switch, which it's optional, you can put it um, on uh, just the power coming into the coach, but I wanna be protected in case my generator is not putting out good power as well. The other advantage to that is uh, with this surge guard unit we'll be putting in that I'll show you here in a few minutes. Um, there is a time delay so that when you switch power from campground power to generator power or generator power to campground power, it's uh, got a timer on it before it will send power to the coach, which will save your uh, air conditioner and any other um, items that put a heavy load on your electrical system, heavy draw uh, from that uh, rapid switching. So let's get to it. Okay, I got the... Um, Four wires that go to the distribution panel in the coach connected to the surge guard unit. And um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of electrical tape over that to clean it up. There's there's no exposed uh, wires, maybe just a tiny bit right there, but um, I'm gonna cover all that up with electrical tape. And then I'm gonna try to uh, find the best place to mount it where everything reaches. Okay, I got that all taped off, and now I'm gonna try to find a spot to mount it so that the um, other end can connect to the transfer switch. Okay, I have it roughly where I wanna mount it, but I need to get some ends for those wires to plug into the transfer switch so that they don't fray as they go up in there. And I'm gonna get some of that flexible rubber conduit so that I can reuse this connection that goes up into the transfer switch box. So off to Home Depot. As you can see, it's dark out. So went to Lowe's, went to Home Depot. I was trying to get some of this, um, looks like one or one and a quarter inch waterproof conduit. Uh, 
so that I can run it up into the surge guard. I'm sorry, the transfer switch. <clears throat> but uh, that's going to have to do for now anyways because neither Home Depot or Lowe's had that size conduit. They only had up to three quarters. But got it installed and um, one item checked off my list for now. Uh, I would like to clean up the install just a little bit if I can get some of that conduit um, in the correct size, make it look a little bit better. But it is working.